Hey guys, we're here at Tuner Evil, Minneapolis 2023. We got Jake, Brandon, and Alex here from Clutch Up. What's up guys? What's going on? Uh so, tell me, tell me, tell me about Clutch Up. Tell me, tell me what's going on, Tuner Evo. So at Tuner Evo, we got a booth with Driven at Tuner Evo. I'll be grabbing selling detailing products, merch. Come see us there. And tell me about tell me about clutch up because you, you guys you guys are, 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 are a group or is this something something yeah. you do something so everyone does together clutch up is kind of a a group that i started with my boy alex you know we started out to be just a car group but then you know we had so much love and support where we becoming we became something like branding like merch and stuff and then obviously my boy jake I brought him along because he ran his own business, Automotive Alterations. So he did a bunch of, you know, rapping and stuff for me as well. You know, always supported the team. So that's why I decided to, you know, move forward with him by my side as well. So it was like it was like an an organic thing. Like you you started you started Clutch Up like you you started like the, like the name and then the, yeah. these were all your friends always. Or you guys you, you guys met each other slowly throughout the way. I was with him all the way. <laughs> um, Jake, I've always knew him, but there was a time where I really needed help with, you know, because I, I broke my bumper and I really needed help before the show. And he was able to knock out a rap for me in two days. So I was like, dang, you know, I, he really helped me out. So I decided to do the same and I brought him on and wanted him to be like a sponsor for the group just because I wanted to see him grow as well. And I, I'm, we're here. We're here at, at, at your, at you guys' shop, right? This Correct. is your guys' shop. This is Clutch Up X Automotive's shop. Okay. And I see, I see a bunch of different, different type of cars. Yes. So let, let's uh, let's talk a little about, about cars. Let's start with Alex. Alex, what, what car do you have? Uh, I drive a '97 Honda Civic hatchback. Um, nothing too crazy. Just a you know boosted B series. You know. That, that's all I drive well unless my daily too I drive a TSX for daily but you know who wants to talk about you're Honda boy, you're Honda boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm straight Honda boy I mean I wouldn't mind you know other Japanese cars no, there's nothing wrong with that I just I just, just want to get to know you yeah yeah so I mean I just grew up you know just loving Honda and um, you know same with my dad because my dad did drive a a 99 SI but sadly that one got burned down uh, we, we don't want to talk about that so. <laughs> um but yeah, you know, basically the love for Honda just started when I was a kid. So, yeah. So you, you mentioned your dad. So you 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 like Hondas because of because of your dad? Yeah. Um. Grew grew uh, growing up. You know, he was the one that started it, and then you know it went down to my uncle. My uncle still does it, um, but my dad. You know, he's getting older now, so he's just out of that scene, and me, just taking it with me now. So it's just. I guess it's kind of like passing it down, you know. So hopefully it goes down to my kids too. So. And what's your what's your style? Are you are you like more auto show oriented, or you like you like going to the track? You like drag racing? What what do you like to do with your with your car? Um. Well, when my dad explained to me, you know, there's only, you can only get one or two ways, you know, either make your car look nice, and your car is super slow, or make your car super fast, and make it as ugly as possible but i wanted the best of both worlds so i'm trying to make it both so that's that's my end goal for the civic um but it's not here today it, it will be out soon so yeah for sure for sure thanks man and what, what about you brandon tell me about tell me about your, what your your car journey so i have uh 1993 s14 sylvia so it's so it's japanese it's it's, it's imported yes I didn't import it. I bought it off of someone that was stationed in Japan. Is Zenki? Yep. Right. Yep. And man, I wasn't even supposed to keep the car for this long. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly bought it to flip it because it was for a good deal. But man, the amount of work I put into it, I just ended up keeping it. You know, the amount of work Jake put into it, man, 13 hours straight just working on that car just for me to make it out to shows and stuff. So. I'm surprised I still have the car. Can't get and and, it and how did how, how did you how did you start in cars? Because we, we already know Alex. Alex is Honda boy. So so what are you Nissan guy or do you just like <laughs> rear wheel drive cars or you like drifting or what do you like to do? Man, I started with I started with a Honda. 
You know what I'm saying? Then honestly, I just got tired of front wheel drive. I had to change it up a little bit. So I used to have a, a J Swap Civic on nitrous. Snapping axle, it was just straight spinning the whole time. I got tired of it. I wanted to switch it up. So I went to rear wheel drive. And man, it's it's different. I enjoy it a lot. Some type. So you, you like you like you like the fun you have of a rear wheel drive? And 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 I feel I feel like I always tell my friends because because cars are expensive, you know. For and sure. I'm like friends of mine that are starting out. I'm like, what do you want to do with the car? Yep. Do you have enough money to get a Honda and have like a like a K24 swap whatever have yep. 400 horsepower, or or do you want to get a, a rear wheel drive car, which you can, you you can have 200 horsepower, you can still have fun because you can Almost drift it. Yeah. So so it's like it's like two different ways of of having fun with cars. Exactly. So I think I, I'm I'm more of a rear wheel drive guy. Yep. But I'm starting to appreciate Honda, especially hanging out with Sean all the time now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know. Yeah. And and uh, what was your name? Sorry. Jake. Jake here. Tell me about tell me about your your car journey. Uh, I mean I think I've owned every single platform at this point. Um, it originated from I started with BMWs. Uh, that's where I started, and uh, as of right now I have. Two BMWs and an R32 Skyline. Um, my E38 is a VIP build, um, and then the 36 is kind of a fun car to slide around and beat up, and we kind of just throw it around, and not care about it. And then the 32 is a Panda build. Um, it's a fully built RB25 Neo. That car is going to be more of a show car. So, I mean, as of right now, I kind of have a VIP build that's just a cruiser, and then 36 we just slide it around and. And the 32, that's going to be a show car. I don't think I'm going to plan to do any sliding with it or anything like that. Um, I know it'll boogie for sure, but it's not going to be it's not going to be catching any corners, that's for sure. So, uh, but I mean, previously I've had some pretty crazy show cars too. It's usually kind of the route I go, bagging stuff like that and interior, exterior work. So, um, but I think what I'll I'll probably end up doing is just sticking with the 32 and calling it a day get rid of the BMWs and just get a nice cruiser and just call it a day. But I mean, I have three cars sitting downstairs right now, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And how do you, cause Brandon told me he, he, you're the guy, you're, you're the rap guy here. Yep. So are you, are you like, is that your business or did you start rapping because you, you wanted to work on your cars and, and you do everything yourself? Like, like what's going um, on? So when I was a kid, I would tinker with small motors and stuff like that. Started working on cars super young. Uh, Pops, he was into automo or American Automotive, uh, and then I kind of landed myself into BMW stuff. Um, I didn't start my business. My business is a mechanic base, so I do detailing, ceramic coating, paint corrections, and wraps. Um, so mostly exterior stuff, a little bit of interior, just keeping cars clean. That's what I like to do. Um, and I just was obviously blessed to be able to add that to my cars and, and just kind of use it as a tool to do what I want to do with my cars as well. But mechanically, I think we have some good people on our crew that are able to take care of the mechanic based stuff. So uh, with Brandon, uh, obviously he's good, he's family, and I was able to use my abilities to make sure that he gets right too, so. But. Nice, cool. And tell me, anyone can answer this, whoever, whoever feels more comfortable, but like, what 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 is you guys' uh, involvement with, with Tuner Evil? Cause, cause, Cause Sean told me, you guys been a big help locally here in Minneapolis. He, he told me uh, some of you go down to, Ch to Chicago too, to the Chicago show, so. So what's your, uh, what's your story with Tuner Evil? Uh, I've been going to Tuner Evil for seven years now, Chicago. Um, I've made it a priority to go every single year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go this year because I got into a motorcycle accident. Uh, but I mean, obviously I haven't known you guys for that long, but it's been a bit, pretty big priority to go to Tuner Evil, Chicago every single year. I just, I love it. It's right up the road from us. I can take my car up there, and enjoy the drive and kick it with some homies and just hang out and just enjoy the show and see what you guys do every single year. It's, it just gets better and better every single time. So I got mad love for you guys. Nice. Thank you a lot. And, and what about you, Brandon? What, what, the, what does Tuna Evil mean to you? Man, I just, you know, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I just met Sean not too long ago, but just him as a person, when I first met him, he's, you know, such a welcoming guy. You know, he, you know, he's from Chicago. It was one of his first times out here. You know, he was shooting the S14. And the love he just gave us, man, was ridiculous. He just, you know, was down for everything. He told me if I knew more people, just bring him out. So obviously I took that opportunity to bring the rest of the crew out. And the time he takes to take care of us, like getting us right for Tuner Evo and stuff and 
all these promo videos that he recorded that shows clutch up a lot means a lot to me. So every time he comes out here, you know, we're going to show a lot of love to you guys as well. So you guys are going to have a booth in the in the Tuna Rebo show on, on Saturday? Correct. You guys, you, you told me you have merch and stuff, so, so you're going to yep. do like, like a whole setup. You're going to have a couple of cars from the guys and like do a, a merch setup and all that? Yep. So we'll probably have like six to seven cars lined up with, you know, that's part of the group. Um, obviously, we're collabing the booth with Driven, so we'll be selling products that has Clutch Ups branding on there. We have a couple shirts out there that we plan on giving out as well. Okay, nice. And uh, and to to finish up, uh, what uh, you guys told me I was I was gonna probably gonna drift the car tonight. <laughs> yeah, so I heard that you you're a drifter, huh? So, I, li I like drifting a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, all right, dope. So what if we got you in a car out here and you know let you have some fun out here and show us how you do it, and then we'll have one of the guys out here show you how we do it. You guys, you guys got a spot or something or? Oh, we spots. <laughs> Spot. Yeah, with the nest, with the nest. Okay, I think I think I think we'll end it here. Thanks for the talk, guys. We'll be hanging out all weekend because today today's Thursday. The show's on Saturday, so we're gonna see you a couple of times before we leave. Most definitely. So Most nice meeting you guys. We got let, let me so you guys know again. This is Alex, Brandon, and Jake from Clutch Up. So look it up. These guys are awesome, and we'll be hanging out all the weekend. Thanks for listening. Thank you for having me. Thank buddy. you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.